Wildlife Services predator control gets away with what it gets away with because it's incredibly secretive and few in the American public even know it exists. It is blatant killing. It is just flying around, there's a coyote, let's kill it. There's a coyote, let's kill it. Let's kill it, let's kill it. You know, just every coyote they see, they're gonna kill. I would call Wildlife Services a government agency run amok. If people knew that they were killing tens of thousands of wild carnivores every year, often in horrific ways, then they wouldn't be able to continue business as usual. Basically, they're the Federal Extermination Service. The United States spends something on the order of $100 million of taxpayers' money to kill 100,000 predators a year. And during that time, the coyote population has tripled. <laughs> In the early stages of my predator problems, I had as many as 50 or 60 lambs killed in a year. We've seen wolf tracks going through the herd several times. Somebody starts taking your livelihood away from you, you're going to fight to keep it. It's ineffective, it's inhumane, and it's expensive. Other than that, it's a great idea. Adaptability is the name of the game, and if I really wanted risk-free ranching, I'd go move to a cornfield in Illinois. It's time for a change, for us to change. Wildlife services can modernize. We know now um, that there are many tools in the toolbox to non-lethally address conflicts, keep carnivores alive and keep livestock alive. It's not about being better for the wolves or better for the cattle or better for the grass. It's better for the health of the ecosystem. Is this earth just for us? to take over, or do we share it?